So the video that I'm going to make for you today is over measurement, converting um, one unit of measurement to another. So this is a review as well. I've already taught this skill. So um, I've taught you the hand motions, which is what I'm going to do here in just a second. And then um, I've added your uh, benchmarks here that uh, you will see at the top of your paper um, that you can refer back to. So what I wanna do is I wanna go from yards to feet. So the first thing I have to do is think about whether or not the one that I'm going from is larger or smaller than the one that I'm going to. So yards, I think that a yardstick is larger than a um, ruler. So I start out like this, got a yardstick, it's large, this looks large, and I'm going from large to small. And then whenever I do my hands like this, it looks like a multiplication sign. So that tells me I have to multiply to get to the smaller unit of measurement. So I'm going to draw this arrow here, telling myself from here to here, I'm going to go to a smaller unit of measurement and I'm going to multiply. So my next question is, what do I multiply by? So I come over here to my reference information and I look for the one that has yards and feet together. So I look here, here's my yards and feet and the number that's not a one, which I'm trying to get to feet, so that's the number I go to, is a three. So I multiply by three. Four times three is 12, so I know that four yards is equal to 12 feet. So my next one, I'm going from inches to feet. So I think inches are smaller than feet, so I start here in the multiplication sign, and I go large. And this looks like a division sign. So I'm going to divide. Now I've got to figure out what am I going to divide by. So I'll go find inches and feet. Here's my inches and feet. And my number is 12. So that's what I will divide by. So now we need to do a division problem. 120 divided by 12. Okay, so I cannot divide 12 into one, but I can divide 12 into 12. And it goes in one time. 12 times one is 12. I subtract that and I get a zero, but I'm not finished because I still have this zero sitting here. So I'm going to have to bring that down. Even though this is zero and you're thinking, okay, I'm done because I don't have any kind of a remainder, I still have to have an answer above this zero. So how many times can 12 go into zero? It goes in zero times. When I finish that, now I'm finished because I don't have anything else to bring down. So 120 divided by 12 is equal to 10. Now I've got to go from millimeters to centimeters. Millimeters are tiny, tiny, tiny. So I'm going small to large again. So I'm going to divide. I'm going to come right up here and figure out what I'm going to divide by. So Really quickly, this is customary units of measurement. This one here is a metric unit of measurement. We use that in science. Um, so let's take a look. If I divide 20 by 10, I've taught you a little trick when you're dividing with zeros. As long as you have zeros on both ends, you can eliminate one of them. And so now all I have to do is divide one into two. So how many times does one go into two? It goes in two times, so our answer is two.